Time for a wine tour. Hey everyone, it's Troy from flowfreely.com and today we're talking about wine tours. One of my favorite things in the world is like a wine tour or a wine festival. I love wine. Being wine drunk is the best drunk, in my opinion. I'm that guy. And they're just an awesome way to spend time with your friends or even by yourself and just meet a ton of new people. So, at its basic, what is a wine tour? In the traditional sense, a wine tour is when you shuttle from vineyard to vineyard and taste each vineyard's wines or the multiple array of wines that they have to offer. You can like buy bottles of wine from each one. It's a good way if you have a wine collection to get different wines from various vineyards around the United States or even overseas. And it's pretty much you just drinking as much wine as you can without being stupid. Don't drink and drive. All right, so wine tours sound pretty cool, but how do you find them? Well, there's a few ways to find them. First is an app called Meetup. You just open up Meetup, sign up. You can search for wine or wine tour or vineyard. And if there are any available at your destination, anything going on soon, it'll pop up on Meetup. Find one you like, sign up, meet up at the Meetup spot whenever it goes down. Hey, you're on your way. Same with Groupon, pretty much the same process, except Groupon, you, have, you just buy it right there and then. And Groupon typically has some specials going on, some deals, coupons, whatever you need. But same concept, you at your destination, search for wine tour. It'll pop up, you buy it, done. Easy, you're on your wine tour. Facebook's another good one because you can search the marketplace, you can search events, things like that. I've gone on a lot of trips, not so much wine tours, but just trips in general because on Facebook event pages, a local travel agency will be hosting some sort of trip or adventure. Um, and, and I have before seen wine tours as those trips and adventures. So I know they're out there. I know you can find them. And honestly, I'd probably start there. And last but not least, the one that really encapsulates all the other ones I talked about is Google. Honestly, it could be just as simple as Googling wine tours in San Antonio or whatever destination you're going to. So you know what a wine tour is. You got one booked, you're on your way. What should you bring? Typically it's just normal stuff. Your wallet, your purse, a backpack maybe, a satchel, whatever your bag of choice is, if you're gonna be out and about for the day. If you even bring a bag at all, just make sure you have your money and stuff. But overall, I'd recommend packing light, super light, because you're gonna be drinking, you're gonna get drunk, probably. And the more stuff you have, the more stuff you can lose. The more stuff you have to be responsible for. No one wants to care about responsibilities when they're drinking, especially on a wine tour. Another thing to bring, is a plan. So if you Uber to the meetup point where the wine tour starts, make sure you have arrangements and make sure an Uber is available on the way back. I know some cities are so small, some towns are so small that finding an Uber is, is you know, not the, not the easiest thing in the world. So, so I recommend having backup, maybe uh, the number of a taxi. If you have a friend or a relative staying nearby, either way, whatever you do, just don't drive home, which means probably don't drive to the meetup point either. And overall, just have a plan in case anything goes wrong. Also, I'd probably bring some water. They may sell water at the vineyards, but just in case, I'd bring your own bottle of water because uh, you know when you, you know when you drink, you, you know you gotta you gotta rehydrate so you're not so you can get your second breath and then then. Uh, then try more wine. That's that's really all there is to it, to wine tours. Finding them, buying them, packing for it, and going. Done. Easy. Ton of fun. Hours and hours of fun. Make good memories too. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you went down, subscribed, hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I upload, as well as leaving a like and sharing this video with friends if you think they would also like to go on a wine tour, maybe even with you. Who knows? And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.